Hey everyone, it's Erin Jones. Welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be talking to you guys about seven different baby items that I think you should have double of, meaning one on your main floor, one upstairs. This is 100% not necessary, but these are things that I found made my life so much easier, especially in the newborn phase, but even now I still use all of these items. First, I wanted to share with you guys what we have been up to this past week. Myself, Avery, and my sister all went to a zoo farm, I guess you could call it, a mixture of zoo animals and farm animals. It was so much fun. We got to feed all the different animals, all the little popcorn pieces for them. We got to hang out with deer and there was zonkeys. There's lots of sheep, lambs, goats. Oh my God, there's so many different animals. It was so much fun. So here's just a preview of what we did. Overall, such a fun day and it was so nice to get out. It's always nice to have these like little activities during the day to go. It was more for my sister and I than Avery, but we had such a blast. Now let's get into it. So the first thing that I think you should have double of in your house would be a breastfeeding pillow. Honestly, so helpful instead of lugging it up and down the stairs because you will be in your room near the bassinet, but then you'll also be downstairs a lot of the day. Just so much easier to have two separate ones. That way you're not forgetting it upstairs and running upstairs. You're still trying to figure out how to hold the newborn. So really the last thing you wanna do is to be running around. The second thing I think you guys should have is a change table on the main floor. So I opt for a playpen on the main floor. That way I can place her in it when I need to. I can change her and have all the diaper situation in the front. As you can see from my playpen, I can fit the diapers, the rash cream, the Vaseline, the wipes, everything in the front there, and it is perfect. You really don't wanna be running upstairs to change your baby every time. The third thing that I think you should have is a diaper genie or a diaper garbage on your main floor. You can easily grab one off Marketplace for like 20 bucks. People are always selling their used ones. Wipe it down and use it on the main floor. I know you always get one in your nursery, but honestly, that's been such a lifesaver because I don't want my garbage stinking up. I'm very particular about what goes in my garbage versus the green bin and recycling. So for myself, I just wanted that separate area for the diapers and I use it every single day and I'm so happy I have it on the main floor. The fourth thing I think you should have is a basket full of onesies, sleepers, sleep sacks, burp cloths, cloths. Like you want all of that in a little basket on the main floor because once again, it's something that you'd be running upstairs for every single time. If your baby has a blowout while you're changing them on the main floor, the last thing you wanna do is leave your baby right there to run upstairs to grab a onesie. So it's good to have a little basket that just has like one or two of everything. That way in an emergency situation, you have it right on hand. The fifth thing applies to myself. I don't know if it applies to anyone else, but I needed nipple shields to help with breastfeeding. My baby never latched properly. So I always need nipple shields. I realized right away that I just need to keep some upstairs and some downstairs because just like the breastfeeding pillow, these are small things that cost like $10. You lose them on the floor anyways, so it's just much easier to have double the stock. The sixth thing is soothers. That is something that you need so much of. I have like four on the main floor, four upstairs, and it's really important to have soothers all over the place because your baby's gonna lose them and you're gonna be running up and down the stairs. So just keep a bunch upstairs in the crib or in the bassinet and then quite a few on the main floor makes your life so much easier. The seventh and last thing that I think is super important to have double of that I have double of is having a swing or a chair on both floors. So on the main floor, I have more of a mechanical swing that I had her in. She's six months now, so she doesn't need it, but I had a swing for her that she could hang out in. That way I could pump on the main floor, go to the bathroom, make some lunch, do those little things that you need to do on your own without your baby in your hands. So your hands free. And then on the upper floor I had, it wasn't a swing, but it's just like a little chair to sit her in and you can buckle her up in it and she won't move. And I use that to literally change my clothes, clean up on the second floor, have a shower, be in my office doing things. It just makes life so much easier that way that they are safe and secured and you can still be on both floors doing things that you need to do on the daily and the only way to get things done. Those are my seven tips. I really hope you guys enjoyed them. Again, this is like 
a must for new moms to get ready in advance because I had my mom and my husband running around the first week gathering all these extra things to get doubles of because we weren't prepared because you just don't think about it until you have a baby. So I really hope you guys can learn from my tips and have it all ready in advance. I can't wait to see you guys in the next video. For now, that's everything. See ya. Oh my gosh, and in this moment, this was so funny. My sister and I were on like a hill and she let go of the stroller while I had Avery so nice. in the carrier oh, and it literally God. almost went down the hill. Thank God when I was recording, I saw it move in the video and I was like, oh my God, it's the funniest thing.